memory. It's a dual port RAM. There are inputs. There is an output. Inputs wise, you have clock, reset. You have write interface. You have read interface. So write interface wise, write enable, write address, data in. Read interface wise, read enable, read address, data out. Let's look at how it works. Here both write and read happens at the clock edge. Module, name of the module, all the ports. I'm planning to use parameter because I want to change the width and depth anytime later. So width is eight, depth is 256, address size is eight. And these are all the inputs. When it comes to data in, I have to use the parameter. So RAM underscore width minus one down to zero. This is how you can define the width. Don't use hard coded number. So here address size minus one down to zero, read address and write address. For read address and write address, we are using address size parameter. And output, output is rich because we are planning, planning to use always block. And output depends on RAM underscore width. And to realize memory, I have to define array like this. This already we discussed. Reg, width, memory, depth. Here, what is width? Eight. What is depth? 256. There are 256 elements, and each element is eight bits. This is how this particular array will be inferred. This is the main component. So we have to define two things when it comes to RAM, the memory and the control signal how the control logic is going to control. So here, we are defining integer variable for for loop. Look at here, always at passage clock. If reset is high, I'm using a for loop. I'm starting from location zero, and that will go up to 255, zero to 255. And for every value, basically it's going to assign zero to that particular location. So as per this for loop, it's going to happen something like this, mem of zero, mem of one, mem of two, mem of three, mem of 100, mem of 200, mem of 255. So it's going to initialize every location with zero. So when you apply reset, the complete memory will be initialized with zero, right? So you're going to get data underscore out as zero. This is, defining read and write operation. If write enable is high, whatever the data you place at the data input, that will be written into a particular location based on write address. If read enable is high, based on read address, it will read a particular location and send the content to output there underscore out. This is how we interpret. Look at here, if write enable is high, Whatever the input data, that will be stored in a particular location and the location depends on write address. If read enable is high, whatever the value is stored in the memory based on read address, it's going to read that location and the value will be sent to output port, data underscore out. That's how the memory works. So this is control logic. It takes care of write operation and read operation here. Both write and read happens at the clock edge, so both are synchronous. At clock edge, it's going to look at whether there is write enable, whether there is read enable. If there is write enable, write operation will happen. If there is read enable, read operation will happen. And before for performing write and read operation, basically it's going to check reset always. So here reset has highest priority. If reset is high, then you reset the memory, all the locations, they have to be initialized with zero, right? That's what happens in reset. If there is no reset, then you perform the operation, whether it is write or read. This is how you can define memory. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you.